At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's Arsenal taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. Take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Thiago starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Thank you, Wembley Stadium. Enjoy the game. And so the battle commences. And Liverpool might be able to cash in, and credit is due for that good piece of defending. And plenty of room in the wide area. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Andrew Robertson. Luis Diaz. Darwin Nunez. Who can they prize them open now? Thiago! And blocked for now. Can he put them in front? Alexander Arnold. Here's Fabinho. Henderson, and he takes on the shot, and a fine stop to turn the ball away. Henderson, superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Now, sending it in. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Alexander Arnold. Robertson. Well, harried into losing the ball. Really effective pressing. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Thiago. Luis Diaz. Fabinho. Here is Thiago. Fabinho. Here's Thiago. Well read to put an end to that attack. Able to get a body in the way. Well, the counter chance looks very real. They need to get bodies back. Options in the middle. Lokonga. Playing with purpose and control. 
Oh, great defending. Luis Diaz. And Diaz has it. Salah. Has eyes for goal. And a goal! Liverpool strike first in the final. And just listen to their fans. Well, as you can see, this catches everybody by surprise. Look where he is when he strikes it. That's a great goal. Started by Arsenal. A wake up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Liverpool have given it away. Not up a cul de sac in terms of the attack. Jesus. Accepting it intelligently. Thiago. Here's Robertson. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Henderson. Well, nearing the break here, and Liverpool hold the edge. Stuart, how about your assessment of what you've seen from them in this first 45? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. A chance to extend the lead. And there it is! Perfectly executed! Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. So, 2 nil now. Totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Luis Diaz. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. So the second half is underway and we're still reflecting on what was a dizzying performance by Liverpool in the first 45. It's a perfect challenge. Good technique displayed. Salah. Across, lacking guile and accuracy. Arsenal being afforded too much room. Tavares. Gabriel Jesus. Nuno Tavares. And a touch off the defender last of all, so a corner. Well, let's revisit the penalty conversion, shall we?
Who can he pick out? It didn't happen for them. Well, as the stats confirm, Liverpool had the lion's share of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. And a substitution in the offing. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Henderson. We find the net. Chance maybe. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Space and time for the cross. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Martin Odegaard. Andrew Robertson. Henderson has it. Luis Diaz. And into the last 20 minutes. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? And Mohamed Salah now. Henderson has it. Firmino. Credit to them for winning back possession. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Surely! Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range, he should be scoring, and he knows it. Sala. It's with Roberto Firmino. Alexander Arnold. And now Henderson. Really important piece of last ditch defending. And room now out on the wing. Takes the shot. And blocked for now. Substitution time it is. And over comes the corner. Not quite spot on with that one. Well read to ease the pressure. Joe Gomez. Matip now. Now, well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Henderson. Gomez now. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Henderson has it. Now, Mo Salah. Well, no stopping him. Luis Diaz. Here's Milner. And Diaz has it. Keeping it moving dynamically. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. 
But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. Yeah, really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. Now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.